Well, don't know much about history. A recent study found that only 24% of high schoolers had at least a proficient level of civics knowledge and skill. Now there's a push to require them to pass a citizenship test to graduate. North Dakota recently unveiled a proposal. Now a New Jersey lawmaker is jumping on board as well. Here to debate it is the political director of Civics Education Initiative, Sam Stone, and Democratic strategist, Brian Benjamin. Gentlemen, thank you for being here. So, Sam, I want to start with you. Is this a great idea for students to be required, a mandate, in fact, uh, to know at least a branch of the government and six out of ten of the questions as it regards to civics? Yeah, absolutely. I think this is the critical basic knowledge that every student needs to begin becoming a citizen, an engaged, informed citizen. This is uh, information chosen very specifically because it is the basis. It's where someone can start growing from. So it's critical that they get exposed to this information at an early age and continuously. Okay, so here's some sample questions, and then, Brian, I'd love to hear from you. Name one branch of government. What is the economic system in the United States? Another question is the House of Representatives has how many voting members? Some, some idea of what they'd be asked here. So, Brian, what's the harm in having questions like this be mandated to students? What do you see as a problem? I see the problem when you make that a requirement for graduation. I mean, I think when you look at all the issues that we want our kids to know, we want them to be able to be critical thinkers. We want them to understand how to problem solve. There's so many other things we want them to focus on. Memorizing tests is not something that we want to be focusing on for a graduation um, concept. Now, in terms of something that they should know, we should start that when they're in, when they're in um, um, elementary school. Why wait to high school? So I think, you know, it's a good idea, but I don't like the way they're trying to apply it. Are you afraid that it would lead to other things being required? Absolutely. Why not, why not then say we should look at STEM? You know, let's look at uh, technology as something that we need. I mean, our kids, to, to succeed in the future, are going to need to know technology. Going to need to, you know, if you want to create jobs, you need to understand how to balance a checkbook, how to do numbers. So, I mean, why do we p pick this and not other things? It just starts a whole chain that I don't think would be uh, productive. Sure, understanding debt would be one thing that uh, could of eventually be mandated, but not bad for you. So there are two different things. I mean, what's the harm? Most, most students can probably know more more about pop culture than civics, in fact. So would it be a bad thing for them to have to know a little bit about our nation and how it works? But how do we know that they're not doing that now? I mean, I think I understand what we're looking at, but we should probably spend more time studying that in class. That doesn't necessarily mean that needs to be a requirement to graduate. Okay. That's my concern. Sam? Well, I mean, obviously, you can look at study after study that shows we're not doing a very good job of teaching that right now. I mean, as far as it goes, we are failing these kids. And every big problem we have in our society today, whether it is a criminal justice issue, entitlement reform, the long-term security of our social safety net, all these things can be made better by students who understand where and how to engage themselves in that process. But also, we have gone out of our way with this to address some of the concerns Brian just brought up. Uh, in fact, kids can take this test as many times as they need to pass it. Uh, they can take it from the first day they enter high school to the last day. And we want this given in class uh, as part of their regular curriculum. Okay. We, the last thing we want is this on the end of the year tests. Really, so it's just about absorbing the knowledge. Well, Sam Stone and Brian Benjamin, I give you both an A-plus for a great debate on what's happening with our students in classrooms moving forward. Thank you both for being here.